Make it the Medic Milestone 1 unlock instead of the Blute. Th that's... that's it. Hello! My name is Potential, and genuinely, that's kinda it for the crossbow? Array7 did a great video a while back about how the stock syringe gun sucking is good for Medic and new players picking up the class, since by giving them a not-so-great offensive option, it forces them into using their supportive ones. And I absolutely agree with, like, 90% of that. I think that Med, fundamentally, is a support character. Teaching players that as soon as possible is important. I also think that there shouldn't be things designed with the express purpose of being bad. Or even beyond that, I don't think that there are any bad tools in TF2. I, I should rephrase that, there are tons of bad tools in TF2, but... I think even the worst have specialized uses, albeit niche ones. Obviously, some are better than others. Speaking of which, the crossbow. Without question, the crossbow is the best in slot for Medic's primaries, compensating for the lack of range and burst healing that Med struggles with. Which is really good! It's a universally applicable generalist tool that the class as a whole is made better for having access to. As such, the class should have access to it. As it stands, the crossbow's crafting recipe uses a huntsman, which you can't actually craft directly. So without screwing over sniper, you're gonna have to either hope random chance favors you with a lucky drop or a good roll on the token crafting, or buy one on the Manco store for far too much for a single weapon. There's obviously trading, but free accounts can't do that. And if we're dealing with someone who's just started the game, getting them the tools to make the class feel better as soon as possible is important. We don't want to make it stock, because the lesson the syringe gun teaches is also important. So instead, removing as much of that barrier of entry that the crossbow currently has would be key. Likewise, we don't want to do what I suggested for the sandwich and give Medic both the stock syringe gun and the crossbow. Medic's not fundamentally broken without the crossbow, it's just a really good tool. All you'd be doing by giving Medic both is muddying up the weapon switch to the minigun. But there is something to be said about the way that stock is right now. Stock weapons should be the default pick until a more specialized approach calls for an unlock. However, between the two of them, the crossbow is the generalist tool. I've been saying those terms a lot this video, generalist and specialized. Let me explain what I mean by that. A generalist weapon is decent in most situations that the class needs it to be. For example, on another one of the support classes, the sniper. Okay. The default sniper rifle is an incredibly handy gun. Yeah. It does great damage, even more so when it's scoped and charged, has the ability to headshot, which can take out most classes in a single hit, and theoretically has infinite range, with a bullet that travels instantly. For the sniper-specific game plan of stand all the way in the back and shoot people, it's really useful. Thanks for standing still, wanker. To contrast, a specialist weapon is great in specific scenarios and garbage in others. By equipping it, you're betting on the scenarios it excels at being things you're going to experience, and the scenarios that it doesn't either not happening or not being relevant enough to matter. The Machina, for example, deals more damage with a charge shot and pierces enemies. This lets get picks even if you miss their head, and theoretically gets more frags per bullet. Maps with lots of hallways you can aim down are perfect for trying to get those sick collaterals. To balance that though, it fires tracer rounds and can't be shot from the hip. That means if you miss your shot, you've literally just traced a line from where the enemy is to where you are, and told them, I cannot shoot you reliably if you are close to me. Assuming you're bad like I am. So, with that definition in mind, Let's take a look at the Medic's primaries. On one hand, we have something that literally fixes the majority of the Medic's ranged-based issues, both for dealing with enemies and healing people you aren't standing behind, and gives them something that can heal in bursts, letting you get more healthy people on the field at once. This is incredibly decent in every scenario the Medic wants to be in. Uh, to contrast, uh, the, the, the clip-style syringes... Uh, there is use for them, don't get me wrong. They're a decent spy checking tool if you can aim reliably with them. And the fact that there are so many projectiles coming out in such a little amount of time means that on hit things like Jurati, Mad Milk, or the Gas Passer are getting more use, I guess. 
Ultimately though, unlike what I was talking about last video with the shotgun and the sandwich, there was never a time I was longing for the stock syringe gun while I was using the crossbow. Never thought, wow, sure am glad I'm using the blute. Whole lot of the opposite, though. By running any of the clip-style syringes, you're giving up your range and burst, universally good options, to be better in incredibly specific scenarios. Maybe move a bit faster if you're using the overdose. That's a specialist weapon. Now, is this bad? I mean, yeah, it's a bad weapon, we talked about that already, but I mean, is it okay to have a specialist weapon for stock? I think so. It's the medic. Any offense should be situational. If you have to change anything specifically with the clip-style syringe guns, just having it so that they reload when they're holstered would honestly be fine enough. If you're handicapping yourself by using them to be better at spy checking, not having to wait for a two-second reload every time you want to fire would be killer. I've also heard people suggesting making the syringes heal teammates, and that's extremely not it. If you want a stream of healing being shot at someone, you have a literal beam gun that does that for you. That would completely remove the lesson that the syringe gun is supposed to teach you, and punish you for the gun's intrinsic aiming issue. It's already hard enough to land a crossbow. Which you could also reduce the effectiveness of, in order to make the clip-style guns look better by comparison, but that sucks. That sucks a ton. Just like the shotgun and the sandwich, it's not an issue of one weapon being applicable, it's about the other weapons not being as applicable, and the downsides that come from them sharing a slot. So then, what do we do? Do we all just sigh and accept that a majority of the medic's primaries are garbage? Kinda. See, there's another type of specialized weapon that I didn't talk about before, uh, what I'm gonna call enablers. This is a type of weapon that, rather than altering specific scenarios, forces new ones. The downside, typically, is that you're effectively playing a different class. The Huntsman, to go back to Sniper, is a perfect example of this. You're replacing any of your infinite range insta-kill hitscan guns for a stick and some string that wants you to get into a bad position and lets you shoot relatively slow-moving, reflectable projectiles. So why would you play it? Because it's fun? And the ragdolls like funny pin to the wall and do a cool taunt move and get an insta kill on a corner and you do cool hallway predictions and feel really epic and really cool and really, really epic. Like, yeah, it's a worse weapon, obviously, but it still feels good to use. And the sniper's goal of put holes where there ought not be holes is still getting done. If we'd want to make the clip style guns better, it would have to be through an enabler rather than a direct change to the guns themselves something that keeps their strengths more pronounced without forgetting the medic's core goal of keeping himself and his team alive. And the best way that I can think to do that is not through syringe guns at all. Introducing the Two Tonic, based on old pharmacies and soda fountains back when Coke had Coke. This is a medigun, and it doesn't use a beam to heal. When you click, you fire out a little bubble of healing, which travels a short distance before slowing to a stop and popping. The whole time it's floating, before it pops, it heals any of your teammates that are close to it. Yourself included. Following numbers are obviously subject to change, but you can shoot one every second, it floats in the air for two and a half seconds, it heals at a rate of 16 per second in battle and 48 per second outside of it. While those healing rates are lower than default, multiple bubbles could work on the same target. To balance that, while there is an overheal, it's reduced by some metric. Maybe it dissipates quicker. The Uber would build very easily, with each bubble contributing. There'd be no charging penalty for double dipping or even healing yourself. But what's that Uber do? Well, when you pop it, you and you alone have doubled firing speed, and any projectile you fire travels 50% faster for about 12 seconds. That's it. Maybe slap some bonus regen or resistances on there, movement speed or something, but ultimately that's the effect. It makes it so that you can fire off twice as many bubbles and have them get where they need to go quicker, which is all right. It keeps a large amount of people, and yourself, alive, which is what we're here for. But how does this make the syringe guns better? Well, you'll notice how I said projectile and not bubble. Yeah, this thing would have two more basic traits. First, any source of damage that you directly deal charges the Uber 1%. And second, the effects of your Uber persist even if you switch weapons. Do you see it? Do you see the line? Do you see that fabled scenario where the syringe gun has a use? 
This still encourages the medic to heal, since landing a hundred needles is ridiculous regardless, and that healing being non-direct means that even if the med is just using it to heal himself, you as their teammate can still benefit from it. Plus, since this doesn't do anything to reload time, assuming that the clip style's reload while holstered thing I suggested goes through as well, it encourages you to be constantly switching between the two. Instead of the Uber just being a this dentist only shoots needles button. The crossbow's still a good choice as always, since it really benefits from the faster projectile speed, but the one and done clip means that the firing speed is kinda lost on it. On top of that, close range burst style healing would be compensated by the fact that while Ubered, the med could have five bubbles out at once. That would be like stepping into four level three dispensers. Without the ammo regeneration, of course. Or the cover that that would provide. Fighting against a medic running the Teutonic would still hopefully be fun, since the bubbles act as big dumb shoot here signs that all of the enemies are going to be huddled around. Plus, since the bubbles are projectiles, pyros and engineers could deny them, or even outright steal them. Now, the same question as always. Is this a good gun? Probably not. Group healing is nice, but invincibility, critical hits, mobility, and resistances are really good, and contending with that is not an easy task. I mean, that's half the reason nothing has in 10 years. Oh god, it's been 10 years since the vaccinator came out. I don't like that. Uh, but is this fun? And does that fun stay faithful to Medic's core idea? Hopefully. Enablers are always a fun thing to hypotheticalize, because we're forcing a scenario that by any previous metric would be horrible. But. That horrible scenario is one that people have wanted to get into for as long as Medic's been in the game. Even longer, to be honest. The primal urge to kill while playing a support is present in pretty much every game that has them. This wouldn't make Medic a power class by any means. It's still forcing the player into the role they chose when they clicked the pharmacist, but it's different. It's a place in the game that we haven't really explored yet. This would also be difficult for new players to get, following in the footsteps the crossbow is currently in. An obscure crafting recipe, high price in the store, that style. Uh, right, the crossbow. Um, this got away from just the crossbow real quick, and I'm sorry about that, but... Genuinely, I don't think that the issues people have with the way Medic's weapons are designed are its fault. There's nothing about its design to fix, there's just no reason to run anything else. So... There ought to be. Just because something is unusable doesn't mean that it's irreversibly broken, it just has less opportunities to shine. The best way to make something like that feel good, or at least interesting, is to let there be opportunities for it. Not to remove the strengths of what make the others around it good, but to create a custom, tailor-fit situation where there's nothing you'd rather use. The clip-style syringes don't need a buff, they need a niche. They'd still not be the best, but they'd have a purpose, and hopefully they'd be fun to use. And if they're fun, then that's enough. My name is Potential. Thank you for your time. Have a good rest of your day, yeah? <laughs>